A lot of anticipation for the forecast for this particular weekend, John. So consider yourself on the spot. Well, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this weekend is going to certainly be quite cold. I know there are several uh, St. Patrick's Day parades going on. You're going to have to get ready to bundle up for that. But before we can even get there, we've got some snow to track for you, and it's coming just in time for your morning drive. Here's the latest thinking on the snow. It's going to be arriving overnight and continuing through the first part of your Friday. And that's going to mean a bit of a slow go as you try to get to work at school tomorrow morning. Probably some delays will be coming on in. Uh, from north to south will kind of be the gradient. The further north you go, the lesser totals you'll find. But the further south and east that you go, I think some of those snow totals will be higher, especially if you're cruising out, say, 84 out towards Milford. Um, probably finding anywhere between 3, 4, maybe as much as 5 inches of snow. Uh, for the Valley Cities, thinking about uh, 2, maybe as much as 3 inches. And going back towards central PA, uh, coating to as much as three inches again with that north to south gradient. Snow's coming in here for tonight. Some delays possible not only for driving, but perhaps for some of the schools tomorrow morning. It does turn cold this weekend and uh, yeah, some more snow on the way for Tuesday. Latest weather alerts to relate to you. We have some winter weather advisories posted by the National Weather Service. They start tonight, continue through mid morning tomorrow for all of the shaded counties. So the northern tier counties not included in this because of the lesser to snow totals expected there. Latest check on the radar for you. You can see it's trying to pick up on some flakes or raindrops out here, but that's just not happening yet because the air is still super duper dry. We're waiting for things to moisten up and you know, this isn't like a big time storm that we're tracking here. This this is it right here. We're just waiting for it to kind of slide east and maybe ramp up just a little bit as it does so. And as things get a little bit more moist, we'll start to find that some of the snowflakes begin to fly. Here's future clouds, future radar for you through about 11 o'clock tonight. I think we're a OK, but watch what happens here as we get post midnight. Start to find that stripe of blue in there. That's the snow and just in time for the morning drive tomorrow. This is seven o'clock here. Things are starting to come down at a Decent clip. Again, this isn't going to be a heavy snow event, but certainly some steady snows possible for a time. Things should begin to taper off as we go to the afternoon. But hey, you remember last Friday we started to find those snow squalls. Could be a repeat performance with snow squalls coming up for tomorrow afternoon as well. So while most of the accumulating snows will be done, another quick coating to a half an inch would be possible with any of those squalls. And of course, as you very well know, creating those whiteout conditions briefly, some gusty winds in some of these. So I'd just be prepared for some variable driving conditions on your ride home too. Things will be cleaned up from the morning, but the afternoons could still be a little bit messy with any of these squalls that may develop. So we start tomorrow morning off near 30 degrees. The afternoon temperature is probably somewhere in the lower half of the 30s. Again, with the steady snow in the morning, potential squalls for the afternoon. Here's the commute forecast for you from Manhattan back to the Poconos. Hey, you've got a couple of snowflakes flying in the city for tomorrow. They're under a winter weather advisory as well. St. Patrick's Day parades. Going on on Saturday, there's the music. Get into it. A jig, but I can't dance. Uh, partly cloudy, breezy, frigid. That's going to be a brisk wind. Uh, you're going to need to bundle up if you plan on stepping out to that. And then, yeah, more snow, possibly. I know there's been a lot of talk about this Tuesday system. Want to caution you, there's a lot of ripples of energy in the atmosphere between us and this. But it's still on the maps and it would still impact us. We're going to have to watch this carefully, not only for tomorrow through the weekend. Kurt, Joe, Noreen, Allie, all on this one for you. And uh, things will start to become a little bit more clear uh, once we get through the weekend. Don't forget, you're going to lose that hour of sleep this weekend. But we're going to push that sunset one hour later. Push the clocks ahead before you go to bed Saturday night. And then Sunday, you get that sunset after 7 o'clock. Some cooler than average temperatures each of the next seven days. That's something we did not say very much at all uh, during the month of February. And it's something we're saying here in March and it looks like it could be sticking around uh, for the next 10 days with these below average temperatures. Scott, I'm on my way to a weather conference tomorrow. I'm going to be hanging out with a bunch of weather geeks. You can only imagine all the nerding going on on this potential Tuesday storm. Uh, something we'll be talking about in this particular conference, believe it or not. Once got snowed in the uh, superstorm of 93, the same conference was happening and everyone got stuck in Saratoga Springs because of the heavy snow. Looks like we'll avoid that this go around, but it'll be chilly. That's for sure. How about that? Well, bring your abacus or whatever it is you guys play with. <laughs> I'll be sure to do that. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you, John.